In this first video, we'll download and then install, press start, and then uh, at least put in one client folder. Uh, and then in the subsequent video, what we'll do is we'll enter in the client's filing information, and then after that, we'll do some documents. So here we're at the uh, download screen, having put in the user ID and password, so we'll log in. And then uh, file should be saved rather than run and I usually recommend instead of going to the default location download it to a desktop and that way it's easy to uh, find to uh, run it subsequently over here it's downloading from Internet Explorer the screens are similar in all the net browsers um, some might scan for viruses on the way down some might not in any event, this is downloading from uh, Internet Explorer, and as soon as it's finished, what we'll do is we'll uh, close out of the net browser and then um, run the installer, which should be on our desktop. It's finished and we'll close out of the uh, net browser. Here's the uh, installer icon, the green icon here. So we'll run that. And um, the first option it'll give us is uh, that we want to take a look at is whether or not we want to install it in a different location. And uh, we're going to leave it at the default fresh start. This can be closed, changed. And so we'll go back. And uh, you go to the no questions asked. Here's a licensing agreement. And then um, we'll put in the um, product registration code and go on. Everyone will have their own code to be different for each installation. And as soon as this completes, what it'll do is it'll uh, open up Word and there'll be a basic information kind of tips file there. And we'll take a quick look at that. And you can see the installer has put some desktop icons in the background there. And there's the Fresh Start folder. So uh, here we're in the uh, tips file in Word. And um, you can print this out. It's a good idea to keep it on the side. So we'll exit Word. And now, uh, if you did want to uh, uninstall, you could go to Start Programs, and then there'll be a folder for a fresh start. And then there'll be an option here to remove. Now, it's not necessary to remove it when we distribute updates. The installer will replace the appropriate files for the update. And if you do uninstall, the client files won't be um, removed. You'll have to remove those manually in Explorer. So here are the two icons that the program put in. Um, one here is the help file, which is a hypertext file, and uh, can be minimized to the taskbar, so you can access it as you go along if you choose to, and uh, pop it up or down. And the other icon, the red one, actually starts the program itself in Word. So we'll click that. The first splash screen will be uh, an option to um, either print the tips or continue or quit. And then there's a context sensitive uh, help button here. And you can see what that will do. And that's on several screens. You can use it as you feel like. Or you can access the uh, uh, regular hypertext um, help file. So we'll continue now. And we'll just put in one client folder. And then later we'll enter the information in. We'll call it test seven. And uh, then we'll wait to set it up later and exit Word at this point. So that's it for uh, downloading and uh, installing. Uh, in the uh, next video, what we'll do is we'll uh, put in the uh, client's basic information. And then subsequent to that, we'll do some of the documents.